Welcome to Christian Fitness. If you haven't seen the show before, let me introduce us. I'm your host, Robert, along with my co-host and beautiful wife, Lori. And today's program is going to be a jump rope show, but you don't have to have a rope. You can actually jump without a rope. As a beginner, I recommend it just to get started and get your body used to it. Intermediates and advanced, go get your jump rope. We'll wait a little while, spend the first round stretching, and then get ready to really get a good workout today. And today we've got a special treat for you. Dr. Donald Hensrud, the creator of Mayo Clinic, the Healthy Weight Pyramid, and he's gonna be sharing some facts with us. Yeah, he's got some great, great information. Let me get rid of this, I'm not gonna need it. But as you'll see, our assistant joined us, and that is just <laughs> myself, so <laughs> I've joined us. It's not my twin brother, it's actually me. And we're just doing some camera trickery for you today, but we have so much information. We want to just be able to have me exercise because about halfway through the show, I won't be able to breathe over there. So Lori and I are just going to sit over here and converse and share all these great facts with you. This first round, we just want to stretch. Okay, so follow along. It's going to be kind of like Simon <coughs> says today. We want you to follow along with our assistant. He's going to start at the bottom of his body and work his way up. He'll start with the calves. A lot of calf workout on this jump rope show. So really make sure you stretch your calves. You want to work your way up the body, stretch the thighs quite a bit. And one thing a lot of people don't realize in jumping rope is the full body workout it is, but it works your stomach quite a bit. So get a nice good stretch on your stomach as well. Beginners today, we only want you to jump for 30 seconds and then take a break. Okay, normally if you've seen the show before, we work out for two minutes and then we take a one minute break. Today for beginners, I only want you to jump for 30 seconds and then you're gonna take a break. And the intermediates are gonna jump for the whole time and, and then the, oh no they're not, the intermediates are gonna jump for, for about a minute. About a minute, and then the advance will jump for the entire time, and you're going to count during that. Yeah, and depending on your level, if you've jumped rope before as an advanced, you can jump for two minutes and then take a one minute break, or if you really want to get a workout, what we're going to focus on today is you're going to jump for two minutes and then jump through the whole one minute break. So you're going to jump the entire show as an advanced. Intermediates, do whatever you're comfortable with. You can jump for a minute and then break. You can jump for a minute and a half. You can jump for the two minutes and then take the one minute break. So ideally, you've seen the show before and you can start to progress and work your way up. Maybe you started as a beginner mm -hmm. at 30 seconds. Next week, you're going to go to 45. The week after that, you go to a minute and eventually you'll be able to do the whole show with us. But it is just a great, great workout. Jumping rope, and people don't realize, and we're gonna get into it later, we've got some great guests with us today. The Mayo Clinic, we've got Linda Stradley that's gonna give yes. us some information for today, and uh, just a lot of great things for today's show. All right, well, we always share a fitness fact with you on Christian Fitness, and today, Lori, we're gonna focus on how many calories you can burn per pound per minute. There's this little formula that you can do. You plug in your weight and how long you exercise, and then what exercise you do, and it tells you how many calories you burn. We want to thank Linda Stradley with whatscookingamerica.net for allowing us to use her chart for this program. Yeah, and today, since we're talking about jumping rope today, we're going to focus on that 70 jumps per minute burns about 0.7074 calories each minute, and 125 jumps burns 0.08 calories, and 145 jumps burns about 0.089 calories. Yeah, so we want you to count your jumps during this first round. This round coming up next is you're going to count your jumps and see how many you do, and then we'll plug them into that formula later on. So the advanced was 145, so our assistant over there, Robert's got to make sure he gets 145 revolutions within this first minute. All right, here we go, round number two. This is the first round you're going to jump. We're going to call it a trinity. And it's basically, as you see, it's going to be three times on one foot and three times on the other foot. So our wonderful assistant there, three times on the left foot, three times on the right foot for the trinity. And since, as we said, we'll just let him work out over there. You guys follow <laughs> along with him, and we're going to share some information with you. But some of the benefits of jumping rope, it's just such an incredible full body workout. It's, it's an overall workout. That's right. It takes very, very little room, and it takes only about 15 or 20 minutes to jump. And, you know, it really covers, just like Rob said before, the entire body. And, I mean, there's a list of it. It, take, it covers your calves, your thighs, what we call the back pocket. Um, and swinging the rope, it covers your back, your chest, your shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, and your forearms. So, really, it's covering your whole body. And there's other things on the list. It's, it's a complete full body workout. I mean, as you can see, you just start at the bottom of the body and work your way up from the calves to the thighs to, as she said, the back pockets, your full arms, your stomach. It's a complete, it's a full, full body workout. And it does so many things for the body. It builds up your strength, builds up your endurance, your coordination, your stamina. I mean, it just the lists go on and on and on about the benefits of jumping ropes. So, we encourage you. 
Get off your couch. We know we saw the little animated logo at the beginning. He kicked everybody off the couch. Get up and at least as a beginner, jump for 30 seconds. All right, you don't even need a rope. Just stand there. And as you can see, Robert is myself, whatever. It's kind of so weird doing <laughs> Myself, just barely clearing the ground. So you only need to come off the ground one or two inches and just rotate your arms as a beginner without even a rope yet. Did you ever think you were going to talk about yourself in the third person? No, and I hope people are enjoying this part of the show. We're just, so we funny. have so much information we wanted to share today. There was no way I could jump today's show and talk. Right. or have Lori be the intermediate right. to be the beginner and jump and talk at the same right. time. So we thought this might be unique and you guys might enjoy this at home. Yeah, we will hope this is a fun show because this is really a different way of showing how to work out. All right, we call it Christian Fitness for a reason because we want to take care of this temple of the Holy Spirit and Lori always shares a scripture with us. What's uh, today's scripture, Lori? Today's scripture is 2 Corinthians 2.14. Thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. You know, I want to read the amplified version of that because it really says it all and let the Holy Spirit speak through you this through us this way. Thanks be to God who all who in Christ always leads us in triumph as trophies of Christ's victory and through us spreads and makes evidence the, cry, the fragrance of his knowledge in everywhere. You know, think about where you were at some time in your life and think of how he has made you a trophy for him and you walk in victory. Amen. 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 All right, next round, and we're going to get back to that scripture later. It's tough to kind of get under the anointing, talk about the word, and jump back into exercising, <laughs> but bear with us, we'll get back to the scripture. This round, round number three, is a what I call a two foot hop. Lori likes to call it a bunny hop. So as you can see, it's just simple. Come off of two feet at once. So beginners, you only have a few more seconds left. Two foot hop or bunny hop, just go as hard as you can. And our special guest today, Dr. Hensrud, we wanna thank you. And he's from the Mayo Clinic. He's gonna be sharing some information later on the healthy weight pyramid. But doctor, what's the first thing we can do to get started? One of the first steps in applying the pyramid is doing a, a survey of what you're currently eating. So keeping a food record for a couple of days and looking at it, people who keep food records are more uh, likely to manage their weight better. It helps people become aware of where the calories are coming from. Another first step that people can do is eat more. We always tell people and they think that, oh, I've got to eat less, I've got to go on a diet. Part of our program is eating more vegetables and fruits. That can be enjoyable and it can help people stay on the program. So I tell people liberalize your diet with regard to vegetables and fruits and that can actually make it easy to cut back on portion size of some of the other higher calorie food groups. Yeah, that's a great point, doctor. I mean, how many diets do you know where they say eat as much as you can? <laughs> you know, everybody's, oh, I'm always starving, I'm so hungry, I've been dieting. Dr. Hensry tell, is telling us, eat as many fruits and vegetables as you want. And keeping that diary is pretty simple. You know, that scares a lot of people too, but That's true. I mean, think about for lunch today, I think I had yeah. three items. It's not that tough to sit down and go, okay, I had a turkey sandwich on whole wheat, I had an apple yep. and I had some oatmeal. You know, and then you can look at, go on the Mayo Clinic website and look up how many calories that was and just keep that diary for a couple of days and, and really get an understanding of what you're putting into your body. Yeah, it's not that difficult. I mean, really think about what you eat and enjoy this while you're doing it. We're going to tell you more about the Healthy Weight Pyramid. Today's nutrition tip is from the Mayo Clinic and it's on the Food Pyramid. This is an easy way to visualize what your meal should look like and balance your diet. Food pyramids place food into categories to help you guide your choices. No single food provides all the nutrients that you need, so you need to eat a variety within each pyramid group. We're going to focus on Healthy Weight Pyramid from the Mayo Clinic. It's pretty simple. You want the bulk of your meal to be fruits and vegetables with the next largest portion, four to eight servings per day of carbohydrates. Then, even less protein and dairy, very little fat, and less than 75 calories of sweets. To see how you line up with this pyramid, keep a food diary for a few days, then compare how much of your meal comes from each level. Don't let your pyramid be top heavy. You want to eat more fruits, vegetables, and whole grain, and less fats and sweets. Our nutrition tip today, balance your meals for a healthier you. I want to thank the Mayo Clinic for sharing that healthy weight pyramid with us, and we'll get back to the doctor in a minute, but this round is side to side, a little bit different. I want to jump side to side, and for advanced, 
At one minute, I want you to jump forward and back, which is even a little more difficult. <laughs> All right, so side to side for the first minute. Beginners, you only have a few more seconds. Advanced, at one minute, I want you to jump forward and back. And intermediates, if you've passed that one minute mark, you can try the forward and back as well. And doctor, we just briefly went through the pyramid, but can you t shed some more light on what each serving size is and how it really relates to portion size? Portion size and serving size are different concepts. Portion size is the amount we put on our plate. Serving size is the amount in a typical serving. And that varies for each of the different categories in the Mayo Clinic Healthy Weight Pyramid. Now, the only pe reason people need to know serving size for vegetables and fruits is to make sure that they get enough of them. For carbohydrates and other foods in the other categories, we do have examples on mayoclinic.com that shows a usual serving size, and there is a list of different foods and the serving size associated with them. People can use some rough gauges, though. For vegetables, for example, it's a half cup of solid vegetables or a cup of leafy vegetables. For fruits, it's a medium piece of fruit or a, a cup of chopped fruit. For carbohydrates, it might be the size of a, a, a piece of bread or something. For protein and dairy, we talk about meat and it's the size of a deck of cards. For the fats, we use dice and a couple of dice would be the same size as a usual serving of fat. Yeah, and that's, you know, we just went through the pyramid. That makes so much more sense now that the doctor broke it down a little bit. But go on to mayoclinic.com and look at their serving size. They've got a fantastic list. They actually have menus and recipes and all yeah. kinds of things on their fantastic website. So go check that out. All right, our fitness facts. We're going to go back to Linda Stradley and what's cookingamerica.net. And Lori, we're going to talk a little bit more about how many calories are burned per minute. Yeah, we've got this great list. I love it. Um, well, she's, let's use Rob as, as, as an example. I think sure. this would be a good example. Yeah, he weighs about 160 pounds and he's jumping rope today. Yeah. Hey, well, he, <laughs> you, okay. <laughs> At an average of 145 reps. So if we multiply 160 pounds at 0.89. Right, so times 0.89 at 145 revolutions per minute. That's gonna equal for 23 minutes, so that's the whole time of the show today, that's going to equal 327 calories that I'm going to burn today, or he's going to burn today, we're going to burn today. 327 calories. So you just go on her website and put, plug in that formula, 0.089 for the 145 reps, times your weight, times how long you're doing it. So times 160, times 23 minutes, 327 calories. That's right. That awesome. is awesome. All right, round number five. This is a single foot for five seconds, switch to the other foot for five. So every time that little Christian fitness clock turns to a five or a zero, switch feet. So you can see Robert, he just switched, he's getting ready to come back, and now at the five, he'll switch back, at the zero, he'll switch back to the other. So just one foot for five seconds. Wasn't that some great information though? Yeah, I love that. 327 calories, that's a lot yep. of calories. Yep. And you know, I could watch you jump rope a lot. It's kind of boring to just watch it. Well, but they might be, so you know what, <laughs> let's go back and check with Dr. Hensrud yeah. and ask him another question. So Dr. Hensrud, if we apply the pyramid um, and, you know, if we try to apply that to each meal or do we do that for the entire day? In applying the principles of the pyramid, you don't need to do it every single meal. Uh, for example, you might have more fruit for lunch or breakfast if that's your preference. The important thing is to get the foods from the various food groups throughout the day. And if you get, a, at the end of the day, if you get generous amounts of vegetables and fruits, some whole grains, lean sources of protein and dairy, heart healthy fats, if you obtain that at the end of the day, then I think you're doing pretty good. Well, and a lot of people have trouble with fruits and vegetables, actually right, packing that many right, fruits and right, vegetables right, right. into their meal. How do I get that many? Doctor, do you have any advice for them? We're always telling people to, what not to eat. We're telling people to eat all the vegetables and fruits they want. Now, there are many different ways of doing that, as snacks, any time out throughout the day, incorporating them into different foods, such as fruit smoothies. Or with vegetables, instead of having just fettuccine alfredo with a lot of pasta and cream sauce, have a smaller amount of pasta and throw a lot of vegetables in there. Or modify all other old recipes, such as pizza. You can even have a whole wheat pizza and a lot of vegetables on there. Or a Greek salad, so there's many different ethnic foods that can incorporate vegetables and fruits in also. It's really a license to eat a lot and enjoy the food they eat, while at the same time managing their weight and improving their health. 
Yeah, that's fantastic, Doctor. Especially the pizza part. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> All right, we well, encourage you to go to our website, ChristianFitnessTV.com, and provide us with your feedback. Lori, we heard from somebody in Sarasota recently. Yeah, we did, and we saved that for this show, didn't we? It was from someone that wanted to improve their footwork for their sport, and they felt heavy-footed and not agile enough. So, as they wanted to be, so we saved that for this. this yeah, show and what was our recommendation? Pretty simple: yeah. jump rope. And actually, that was Greg. Yeah. He he does mixed martial arts down in Sarasota, and he's getting up there in age, and was having trouble staying up with some of the younger folks that he would spar with. And so, you know, he he asked us, "What can I do to improve my footwork?" Pretty simple: jump rope. Actually, we know a gentleman in the Chicago Cubs organization that was a catcher. Little felt like he was a little slow footed behind the plate throwing out runners. You know what his what their advice was, the trainers? Jump, Jump rope. rope and yeah. improve your footwork. Yeah. So there you go. All right, round number six. This is gonna be a variation on the last round. Single foot, but we want you to hold your another knee up as high as you can. So every time that Christian fitness clock hits a five or a zero, we want you to switch and hold the other knee up. And we're gonna go back to the Mayo Clinic pyramid and talk to Dr. Hensrud. Dr. Hensrud, what is what your pyramid includes? is another, it's a small amount of fat, but what's your recommendation there? An important point about fats in the fat category is that all fats contain the same amount of calories. Therefore, we do need to watch portion size of fats. However, some fats are more heart healthy than others. This includes olive oil, such as in the Mediterranean diet, canola oil, and nuts. Nuts have gotten kind of a bad rap over the years because of their fat content but the type of fat in nuts is monounsaturated fat, which is heart healthy. So if people are going to choose a fat, those are some of the fats that they, they could incorporate into their diet. There are fats in other foods. For example, some fish, such as salmon, contain some fat. In the fat category, we're talking about added fats to recipes. So if you're having a, a salad, you could use olive oil for that, if you want the, the olive oil flavor. On the other hand, if you're sautéing something, such as fish, and you don't want that olive oil flavor, canola oil would be a good choice. Interestingly, with nuts, studies have shown that if people use nuts as snacks, they may eat less of other foods. So the overall calorie intake doesn't increase that much. Nuts make you feel full. And so as a snack, they're probably one of the better snacks that people can choose. Oh, we appreciate that, Doctor. We'll check back in with you in a minute, so hold on. But, yeah, that was so important about the fats. And a lot of people realize, like, if you eat salmon, that salmon has some fat in it. So you need to look at your pyramid and think, okay, I got a lot of protein, but I got some of the fat in my salmon. So really pay attention to that pyramid and keeping your diary. All right, Lori, we talked about 2 Corinthians earlier. Let's get back into the Word of God. 2 Corinthians 2.14. Now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. And I want to read the Amplified again because that is so good. Sometimes you just don't need to add anything and you're not supposed to anyway. But thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumph as trophies, as trophies, us being a trophy of Christ's victory and through us spreads and makes evidence the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere. And in verse 15 it says, we are the sweet fragrance of Christ. We are the sweet fragrance of Christ. We're an epistle. <laughs> We're a sweet fragrance of Christ. Uh, so important. So are you being the fragrance of Christ when you walk into a room? You need to be. All right, round number seven. Little variation on the knee up and the single foot. Now it's single foot with your leg out straight. So hold the opposite leg out straight as our assistant is doing. And every time that Christian Fitness clock hits a five or a zero, you get your five seconds and you switch to the other leg and hold it out straight. This one's a little more difficult. You got to really reach with that rope to get it around there. And you know, Dr. Hensrud, we've got another question for you, but we're going to look at the top of the pyramid this time. And the viewers are going to love this because <laughs> yeah. you've included sweets this time. We put sweets at the top of the pyramid because everybody likes a little treat now and then. Mm -hmm. However, some sweets that are just pure sugar are just calories with not a lot of nutritional value and that's why we limit it to only 75 calories a day. People could do that to have a small amount in one day or they could save it up perhaps and have a, a larger treat once or twice a week. There even are healthier choices in the sweets category. Dark chocolate, for example, has many health benefits. There's antioxidant compounds in it, 
So one way to apply this is to fill up on some of the, the other foods in the pyramid. Eat generous amounts of vegetables and fruits, some whole grains, lean sources of protein and dairy. And after you're satisfied and full, have the best piece of dark chocolate you can find. You can still enjoy the taste and keep your calorie intake low. Oh, thanks, Doctor. We'll get back to you in a minute, but our viewers are just going to be in love with Dr. Hensrew in the Mayo Clinic Pyramid. <laughs> what kind of diet do you know where they tell you, or actually not a diet, it's healthy eating habits. That's right. But, well, have you ever heard of one before that says, yeah, go ahead and eat some dark chocolate? <laughs> yeah, and also eat as many fruits and vegetables as you want. A lot of people say, oh, I don't want to eat that much, or don't eat many fruits. No, eat as many fruits and vegetables as you want because that is the bottom of the pyramid. Work your way up is very important. Eat lots of them, they're good for you. Absolutely, yeah, put them in burritos. You can put extra vegetables in a burrito and do a lot of things to mix them in. Yep, absolutely. As you said, fruit smoothies, things like time. that. Yeah. All right, well, let's get back to Linda Stradley and uh, what's cookingamerica.net. And let's talk about some of the other exercises you can do to burn calories and some of my favorites. If we plug my numbers into them, if I ran a six minute mile, instead of doing the 23 minute jump, if we average that for a six minute mile, it burns 0.115. So if I did that for 23 minutes, instead of jumping rope, that'd be what, 423 calories. That's right. And on the other extreme, you just sitting still burns 0.009. So, Robert, you just doing nothing, you're burning 33 calories. Well, I'm not, I'm not well, doing nothing, but, but yeah, <laughs> I am just I mean, sitting yeah, here. Yeah, just sitting here. So just yeah. sitting for 23, so this Robert is burning 33 calories, yeah. while well, that one that is burning one. 327. <laughs> exactly. So, of course, the key is when you're just sitting there, what are you, are you eating Doritos or, you know, fast food and all those things? So well, we 33 calories, that's, that's, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> all right, round number eight. This one's gonna be a little more difficult, a little more challenging. We're gonna call this a double swing and you just saw it. Every time the clock hits zero, every 10 seconds, we want you to jump a little bit higher and get a double swing and really get a good workout on this one. And then we're gonna go back to the calorie burner. Yeah, let's go back to the calories. Her list is just incredible. She's got some great things on here and some of my favorites are, one of the highest are squats and that comes in at .096 and that's one of the highest. Mowing the lawn, .028. And then grocery shopping is the same at 0, 0, 0.028. Raking leaves right below that at 0 0.025. And just below that is ballroom dancing at 0 0.023. And that's tied with volleyball, which is also 0 0.023. And here's one of my favorites, cooking at 0 0.022. But the highest is cross country uphill skiing at 0.125. So cross 0.125, that's quite an extreme from cook cooking though. Grocery shopping and cooking are way up there on the list. I don't quite understand that. You know that. what? We're in Florida. That is just not going to yeah, happen. Yeah, we are not going to no. go skiing in Florida. But we've done that skiing. several times, And but we go downhill. Yeah. <laughs> how, yeah. How much do you get for doing the snow plow down to the bus? Like, that, that's that's yeah. about my extreme. But, that's so true. I mean, a lot of those, go to the website. We really encourage you to visit our website, and we thank Linda Stralley for providing that information with us. But go yeah. to her website, and we only listed a couple of them. There are all kinds of exercises on there and how many calories it burns. So just plug in your weight, and then plug in how long you do that. So how long did you cook? How long did you grocery exactly. shop? How much do you weigh? And that's going to tell you how many calories you burn doing that. And it's, it's a lot of fun. We, we thought you'd enjoy that for today's mm -hmm. show. And that's why we're just providing all this information today between the Mayo Clinic and then how many calories you can burn per minute. Um, so I'm still fascinated that I'm burning 33 calories just sitting here. Well, you know, in the whole, every show we always talk about, the whole key of what we talk about Christian fitness is do something, be active. Yeah, just in this show, yeah. you're burning calories, yeah. doing anything, raking leaves, mowing the lawn. All right, we encourage you to go to our website, christianfitnesstv.com, and we've got all kinds of great merchandise and other things on there, but also visit mayoclinic.com and whatscookingamerica.net for some of the information we shared today. And I want to go back and talk to Dr. Hensreed one more time. And we talk about, you know, we have a lot of families that watch Christian Fitness, Doctor. And I want to ask you, how can the kids and others get involved in eating healthier? Following the Mayo Clinic Healthy Weight Pyramid can be a family affair. We try and do this at home with, with our kids. And some tips for getting kids to eat healthier, involve them in the process. Let them choose what they want to eat. Give them some choices of different vegetables. Let them help prepare the food. That's really enjoyable for them and it starts them on, on good health habits for the coming years. Another tip is to serve in courses. Try and serve the vegetables first when they're hungriest and they're more likely to eat it. 
and when they come home from school, give them a snack of fruit and let them choose the snack. So these are a number of things that can make it uh, enjoyable as well as healthy and fun for kids. Yeah, that's some great that's points, great Doctor. Idea. Thank you so much, and we thank you for joining the show today. Last round, round number nine. As you can see, Robert's already started running. We just want you to run, get your knees up as high as you can, and get those revolutions going on the jump rope. And since this is last round, let's talk about some more of the benefits of jumping rope, Lori. Well, I mean, you can do it inside, you can do it outside, you can do it anywhere on vacation. I mean, it just, yeah, you know, do it on a sidewalk, do it with your family, yeah, make absolutely. it fun. I mean, you can get everybody involved. You can do little tournaments. I mean, yeah, and count the revolutions. And yeah, you saw that absolutely. list that we did today on different 70 revolutions, burns a different amount of calories. See how many revolutions you can get per minute. Make a little contest out of it, mm -hmm. have fun with it. Yeah, just sit in front of the TV, do it with the show, and challenge yourself for the next week to jump more, the following week to jump even more, and have fun with it. But what a great full body workout. As you can see, and that's why this Robert's only burning 33 <laughs> calories sitting here, because yeah, that one is, uh, yeah, that's why he's not talking. He's sweating a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. But, you know, really, I encourage you, make this fun. Get your family involved. Get the kids involved. You know, get, get a workout partner. In every show, we talk about getting a workout partner. You know, get people involved. And if you don't have one, you know, switch up. Do different shows, but do this one in between. And then remember, you know, pace yourself throughout these, but make this fun because these, these workouts are a lot of fun. And definitely pace yourself and take it slow because your calves are stronger than you think and you'll feel That's really right. strong and confident and you'll be doing this show and you'll say, oh, well, I can go another minute, I can do another two minutes. And then you'll get out of bed the next morning, put your foot down and go, oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that extra minute. So take it slow, yeah. trust us, take it slow, build yeah. it up until you feel really comfortable and you get more coordinated and more practice with it. Exactly, exactly. You know, in every show, we talk about taking care of your body, your health, and being physically fit. But the most important thing to us is how is your heart? Where is your walk with Jesus Christ? Do you have a relationship with Him? Do you know where you're gonna spend eternity? Because that's more important than anything. Where are you going? And if you have no idea, and if you have any question about that, then pray this prayer with me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I ask you to come into my heart ask you to forgive me of my sins. Thank you for dying on the cross and raising and shedding your blood for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Know that you're born again and you are sealed with him. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you prayed that prayer. If you did, email us and let us know and we'll turn you over to a prayer partner and get you a Bible, do some other things to really help you out. We always close our show with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Thanks for joining us. We love you guys so <laughs> much.